Frederick Wallace Smith was born in Max, Mississippi on August 11, 1944 to James Frederick Smith, founder of Toodle House, a restaurant chain and Dixie Greyhound Lines. Smith was raised by his mother and uncles after his father died when he was four years old and suffered from a crippling bone disease as a child though he became free of it at the age of 10. He grew up with a love for flying even became an amateur teen pilot while attending Presbyterian Day School and later graduated from the Memphis University High School where he was a member of the Delta Kappa Epsilon Fraternity with George W. Bush, eventually becoming DKE's president. Smith also was a member of the Skull and Bones Secret Society. By 1962, Smith wrote a paper for the economics class while studying at Yale University. The paper enlightened the possibility of delivering services overnight, but stayed unattended to for years while he went on to graduate in 1966 with a bachelor in economics. From there, Smith joined the US Marine Corps and served from 1966 to 1969 as both a platoon leader and a forward air controller, but remained a ground officer for his entire service. By 1970, Smith was honorably discharged with a Silver Star and Bronze Star and two Purple Hearts, having attained the rank of Captain. Smith returned to the United States and revisited his economic paper idea and was spurred to create something out of the idea. That same year, Smith bought the interest to control an aircraft maintenance company of Arc Aviation Sales, expanding it to sales of used jets. By the next year, in 1971, on June 18, Smith founded Federal Express with the inheritance of $4 million he got and the $91 million capital he raised. This was born from his economic idea. Federal Express started its business offering services to 25 cities with small packages and documents at its beginning. Smith sent proposals out which he anticipated could have saved $3 million of the nation's banking system. Though lots of financial institutions were interested in this, he was still not taken seriously regarding its execution. Only the Federal Reserve bought into the idea. Nevertheless, Smith spent lots of money on an intensive advertising campaign to garner the interest of the general public. The kickoff of Smith's company, Federal Express, was a struggle for its first two years, mostly due to the rise of fuel cost. The company lost $30 million, and to keep it afloat, Smith gambled the company's last $5,000 on blackjack in Los Angeles and won $27,000. With this, he covered the company's fuel expenses of $24,000, keeping the company going for another week. Two years later, in 1976, Smith took Federal Express public, recorded a profit after its turnaround, and sold shares on the New York Stock Exchange. From then on, by 1984, Federal Express began offering services around the globe, operating in 220 countries and surpassing a $1 billion in revenues. The company took a turn in 1994 when it changed its name to FedEx and introduced the internet ship service to allow customers to coordinate their domestic deliveries through internet software. Smith also developed a marketing service called Business Link to provide an online catalog of goods directly linked to Federal Express for businesses. Federal Express grew to employ 120,000 workers by 1997, delivering 2.5 million purchases a day in almost 211 countries. This made Smith among the wealthiest people in the world. FDX Company was formed from FedEx in 1998 to serve as a holding company overseeing the international and domestic operations of the company. And the next year, FedEx shipped 3 million packages daily, having annual sales of $16.7 billion. Smith took the company forward with new innovations like the introduction of drop boxes and online tracking of packages. He also acquired Kinko in 2004 and made it the office of Federal Express. In 2000, Smith rebranded the company, renaming it FedEx Corporation. These numerous strategies raised the worth of the company to more than $40 billion in 2016. By April 2000, 
FedEx couriers and drivers were discovered to be struggling more than 120 tons of marijuana between the east and west coast, causing some disruption in the business of the company. Also, FedEx has experienced competition in its marketing business as a result of the emergence of e-commerce and online shopping. But Smith is not one to deflate in the face of challenges. The 75-year-old has admitted FedEx's business facing a setback in the face of trade wars between the United States and other countries, also with the $900 million drains by the Amazon.com Incorporate and his working ways to improve the business. In 2000, Smith appeared as himself in the movie Cast Away, a scene that was filmed at the FedEx location of its Memphis, Tennessee home facilities. For his achievements, Smith has been inducted into Junior Achievement USA Business Hall of Fame, SMEI Sales and Marketing Hall of Fame, and awarded with several awards including CEO of the Year 2004 of Chief Executive Magazine, 2008 BOA Award for Business Leadership, and 2011 Tony Janus Award for Distinguished Contributions to Commercial Aviation, among several others. Smith is co-owner of the NFL's Washington Redskins. He also owns several other companies, most of which are entertainment companies, which includes Alcon Entertainment. The success of FedEx has been attributed to Smith's style of leadership. He operates his company with a standard of people, service, and profits, believing that each would not work without the other. His workers are as important to him as his business is with him once rewarding his employees with several bonuses and taking a full page on newspaper adverts to express his gratitude for their hard work. At a time when UPS workers went on strike but his employees kept making deliveries. Smith was ranked 26th on the world's 50 greatest leaders by Fortune magazine with a $3.5 billion net worth. He was chosen by George Bush for a high political position in his cabinet twice and those two times, Smith declined the position, choosing to spend time with his daughter who was terminally ill at the time. Smith married Linda Black Grisham in 1969 and they divorced in 1977. He went on to marry Dan Smith and had eight children with her, having a total number of 10 children. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.